Josh Bucket, and this is my science fair project on solar energy, harnessing the power of the sun. Go. This is a sun steering device. It is used to reflect sunlight onto solar panels, or yeah, and it was made out of 16 by 24 cardboard. And we put tin foil over the front of it so it would reflect, and we put masking tape over the side of it so the, the tin foil wouldn't fall off, and it is used to reflect. Ready. This is a solar amplifier or parabolic mirror. It is used to gather the sunlight make it into one point, but I, and I'm pretty sure the point is right there because it's really hot. Right How'd you make it? Um, <laughs> oh, it was a hard part. Um, we got a yoga ball. We just started off with that. We did two or like three, two or three layers of water. So the thing was under this one. And then we did about four layers of glue. So, in it. so it's hard. And then when we were paper mache, Sorry. paper mache, yeah. And it was really hard to take it off because we had to get like cardboard strips and like put it in there so it would fall off. And my sister was mad because it was her yoga ball and we got a bunch of glue on it. Okay, so tell me how this thing works. Um, it focuses all the sun rays into one point, so it's gathered up it's right there. And I spray painted it black. All right, did this thing work? What did you try to do? We tried to cook an egg, but it and with the the SSDs also. We had the egg in the middle, and we were trying to shine it in the middle like that. But we only tried to put that in there for like a minute, so, and it didn't work. And then I came back like ten minutes later, and there was this thick film on it, it was like that, about that thick, and I took it out, I moved it around, it was on like this little cup, so I wasn't touching it, and then I did touch it, and it was completely dry, and then I just set it on the ground, and my dog licked it, it was really gross. So it didn't work, huh? Not at all, it was well, a fail. Why do you think, why do you think it didn't work? Uh, we could have put cellophane? on top of it, keep the heat in, and vary the size and the shape of the wall. Could have been like square. And I worked. Triangle. Triangle there. Okay. Good job, dude. This is a solar pow solar powered airplane. Except it doesn't really fly. I have to um, make sure that it doesn't, I don't like drop it because this might break. And we made it, um, how we made it is what, we got a pencil on a piece of cardboard and we traced it out and then we cut it with scissors. And then I made a tail fin for it, but I don't know where it went. I'll just make it one. And I hooked this on. So first it was like that, but so we unhooked it. And then now it's on that side. So that's under it. And it flies. It works. You gonna hook it up to the. Sure. And what's this thing? This is a counterbalance. And that car's still going. Takes a while to keep make it go. And then I can use the SSD to make it go a little bit faster.
you have it like this, it'll just go until the sun's over there. This is like 12 o'clock, so the sun's right there. Or 11 o'clock or something. Where's the sun? Right there. This is a solar solar powered mini race car. That's what it said on the box. <coughs> it said it, it could go up to one meter per second. That's like really fast for that big of a motor. So how does it work? Um, this is the solar cell, and it gives the power through those wires all the way to the motor. The transmission right there. I built it. It, it threw the box, and it was really hard because I had to hammer these in because they wouldn't fit. It was pretty tough. You want to show us how it works? Uh, sure. In sunlight, you can see the oh, yeah. wheel spin, and there's a dead spider right there. Set. Go. Go. So we tied it to a string. Yep. You have to like double knot. I think when you make your hand go in front of it, it stops. Ready right, to count three. Ready, go. We are going to have our annual Solar Olympics. And where this this plane races against that car. Ready, set, go! Fast takeoff by the car. Plane is making its way around its first lap. There it is. Car almost on its tenth. Second. All right, so what are your conclusions? The the car killed the plane. I did I didn't expect that because the car is a solar or it's a smaller panel and the plane it's a bigger panel and I was expecting it to go the plane to go faster because there's um less resistance on on the plane cuz it's just on a can and this is turning against that one where it's like, piece of tape and a string and a and the wheels. That was not what I was expecting at all. That was not what you were expecting? What were you expecting? I was expecting the plane to win at first. Well the plane will probably win in the long run because that string will get tangled. Yeah. No, but then it would go smaller and faster. Because it, it got tangled and it was like it was like going like that yeah, fast. Yeah. I like the airplane though, it looks cooler. Yeah. I just didn't expect the car to win. Alright, tell us three things you learned in this science fair project. I learned that the bigger the solar panel doesn't always mean the faster it will go. Because in the race, the small car, um, the small car won. But it has a tiny panel, and the plane has a bigger one, but it lost. And I was it was surprising because the plane has less resistance. And I also learned that maybe you can cook an egg if you had the right dimensions. And if you put silo thing on the top of it.
Also, I learned in the SSD or sun steering devices that it increases the amount of sunlight that it gets because you aim it at it and it it's more sun and it's like put into a small space. So it's like having a bigger solar panel in a small smaller solar panel. That's all I have to say about that.